Hello, and welcome to another Brie Barely Bakes episode. This week, we have a short-lived spin-off of the show, Brie Barely Bacons, because today, we are gonna be taking a hot tip from my great aunt, and we're gonna be bacon bacon a little bit differently. You put tin foil down, lay how much bacon you want in it. This is so that we can embrace the baking loving part of ourselves yes. without the mess. And we're not gonna do this whole bag because yeah. that's a lot of bacon to have it's... in one sitting and with just two people, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Okay, four. We're gonna do four, four slices. Four, is that three for me, now, one for you? <laughs> now, Lana, yes. she had like a really great, called a casserole dish pan thing, and she was able to get quite a bit of bacon in there. Oh, yes. For us, we've got pretty thick bacon going on here mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this is really just to test out her technique okay her bacon making technique bacon so, making mm -hmm. technique say that ten times quickly bacon making technique bacon making technique no, bacon making technique okay so it goes so in the oven the, yeah we've got it we're gonna get it in Does the it oven go in here. a certain way uh any way you want I start the oven at 425 and then you right away put it in the oven and time it for about 25 minutes and you'll have it about like this. This will be just a tin foil and fat. Let's leave it in there, Dad. Okay. 25 minutes and then we'll come back. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Would you look at that? One of the things I was wondering about is if it would really fizzle, 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 but it doesn't really no. look like it did at all. Mm, how's, how's the oven look? Looks Can't clean to me. One yummy swoop. There it is, bacon. All right. Put this yeah. set and cool, and then that way we can wrap it all up and chuck it into the trash. Yeah, to keep it but, nice and clean. But can we eat bacon now? Yeah, we can eat bacon now. Let's go. Let's do it. It's, it's hot, hot though. Yeah. Here we go. Is this why you agreed to do this with me today? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I think it's good. It tastes mm -hmm. like bacon. It tastes different than it would in a pan, but not like, yeah. in, a, like in a good way. Well, yeah, it's evenly cooked, so you don't get that like one chunk of it's crispy and the other chunk is like almost raw, you know how sometimes that way. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and even. You get okay. a thin like crispy crunch all the way through yeah. it. Now that we know how to do it this way, we'll be more apt to bake it. Yes. Because the mess is always a little daunting. And maybe about three, four hours from now, yeah. it's all hardened. Just take this, throw it, it's already ready to go. So no mess. Cool. There won't even be nothing on my pan. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Gosh, we can yeah, do this no once problem. We roll this in the up, it cools down and roll it up. Be good. Mm -hmm. Well, that is going to wrap up our bacon baking process. Yes. Thank you so much, Lana, for sharing that hot tip with us. How cool is that? We're definitely yeah. going to be making it more around here. Yes. And if you have any bacon uh, hacks or things that you like to do with bacon, please let us know. Please. We'd love to hear from you. The comment section is wide open for you. So we'll catch you next time. Bye. I was down in the south. I thought, well, I'll, I'll just go for breakfast. And no place could I go that didn't have signs of like bacon. I mean, they even had a restaurant with bacon in the name of it. Oh, wow. So I went in just to th just get a little eggs and maybe a little bacon. So sir, do you want bacon with your bacon and have some more bacon with that? And there's some bacon juice and they had bacon dressing and they had, you know, bacon pancakes and it was just everything bacon. I good. ate a lot of bacon that day. <laughs> yes, I will take all the bacon. Please, all bacon. <laughs> That's great.